As a creator who does lots of video editing, just like this video that you're watching right now on the likes of my Mac Mini, for example, and my MacBook Pro 16 inch, and also my M1 MacBook Pro as well, is the ViewSonic 38 inch monitor, what's an ultra wide monitor, going to be my ultimate creator's paradise monitor and workstation to work at? Well, let's find out. So recently I received a large monitor from ViewSonic, what is this 38 inch ultra wide screen. Now there's two things that have been on my mind and one thing I wanted to know is, A, would it be easy to set up and B, would it actually even work with my Macs? So the first thing, was it easy to set up? Well I'm happy to say it was really easy to set up. All I had to do was just get the base and the monitor out of the box and all I had to do was just click in the base into the monitor, easy as this. There were no screws or anything. It was so simple. Yes, also the monitor does have the ability to be mounted, but why would you do that? It's too much effort and too much work. It was really easy just to click in the base at the bottom and it does feel really sturdy as well. Also inside the box, you got included a HDMI cable, a USB-C cable, and also a display port, and also a standard USB cable to power those USB ports if you're not using USB-C, for example. Well, it's really, really incredible because normally you don't get all of those type of cables inside the box and ready to go with. I also noticed straight away with the monitor, it was really easy to fiddle around with the settings that are built right in. We're just using these buttons on the side and they're really easy to get your hand round to adjust everything. So the first device I decided to use with this brand new View Sonic monitor was my MacBook Pro M1. And I used the USB-C cable to do this. Now I was quite shocked when I plugged in my USB-C cable into my MacBook from the actual monitor. It actually started charging the MacBook Pro straight away. What was phenomenal, I wasn't expecting that at all. Also at the same time as well, I'm also getting the image coming back onto the actual uh, monitor at the same time. In fact, you can even go further, and actually the keyboard and mouse that I use externally, the USB-C cable is using the data from my MacBook to control that keyboard and mouse, and I can do that. I don't even have to basically plug in an extra USB-C cable or an extra USB cable, what ViewSonic provided inside the box. It, it all just works like a dock that's all built inside the actual monitor. What is phenomenal, really. On the back and underneath the monitor, of course, there are multiple different ports. You've also got the audio in and audio out ports. You've got those USB kind of 3.1 ports as well, that USB-C display port and HDMI port. This monitor also gives you speakers and I tested them. And to be honest, they're really, really quite clear. They're probably not as good as say as my MacBook Pro's speakers, but they're not far from it. And they'll definitely be able to do the job for me. Now another massive advantage that I've found with this monitor is sometimes I like to work on my MacBooks and I also like to work on the monitor at the same time. So the monitor is able to be adjusted really easily just by pushing it up and down and you can also swing it from left to right as you can see here. Now when ViewSonic first approached me to test out one of their monitors, I on purposely decided to pick this monitor and the main reason behind this is because I'm a creator and do lots and bits and pieces in Final Cut Pro, I wanted to see if I could have a massive timeline to work with and edit my videos. Because at the end of the day, working on Final Cut Pro on a 13 inch monitor or a 16 inch monitor, it does the job, but it can be a little bit tricky and you do have to do a lot of zooming in and zooming out of your timeline to fiddle around with the bits and pieces that you want to edit and change. So to have this ability to have such a wide ultra screen monitor and for it to work with a Mac, it's absolutely fantastic and it's making my life so much easier to edit videos now. I'm sure if you use the likes of Resolver for example or Adobe Premiere you'd kind of get the same kind of experience. Also if you're a person who uses Logic Pro you're a music editor and I'll be honest I'm not a music editor but I'm sure you'll be able to get lots of different inputs in here at the same time and you'd be able to see lots and lots of length of your music tracks what you can edit all at the same time compared to if you were using say a standard kind of 27 inch or 24 inch monitor or even say your MacBook. This monitor gives you that ultimate kind of creator's paradise that I was talking about and it's really really fantastic. 
Now, not all apps or all programs work really well when you expand them to the full size of the monitor. But what this monitor is also great for is the ability to do multitasking. When you normally do say multitasking on say a MacBook or say a 24 inch monitor, you basically can't fit on a full page of say a web page, for example, and also say a Word document at the same time. You kind of have to split it down to say 25% or 50% of its actual size. With this monitor from ViewSonic, I can fit basically full size apps side by side and work together and get that full fantastic multitasking experience. In fact, let's use that multitasking experience right now and I'm basically I'm going to show you where you can buy it from on Amazon this monitor and also I'm going to show you basically some other features and advantages of this ViewSonic monitor and I'm going to do a split screen view of this and I'm going to record it at the same time. So this ViewSonic 38 inch ultra wide monitor does come with a curved screen. And that is absolutely really, really good. I actually really like this curved screen, what we actually get with the uh, monitor, because it actually gives that really, really great viewing angle when it's such a wide screen monitor and it's so close to your face when you're working on it. But with that, it comes at an aspect ratio of 21.9 because of how ultra wide it is. And with that, with all the pixels and everything behind it, we do actually get a maximum resolution of 3840 by 1600. Well, again, it's quite a lot of pixels packed into this screen. We also get HDR10 support, which is fantastic for those people who are doing kind of video editing and photo editing, what do actually need that. And also, one of my favorite features about this monitor is that it's factory colored calibrated out of the box. So this basically means that all the colors and everything are set up correctly, so it's ready for you to go. Because sometimes you can get some yellows, which don't look right really quite yellow to be deadly honest, but with this um, kind of monitor, those kind of contrasts and bits and pieces are fully calibrated and it looks absolutely amazing. On top of that as well, the full palette on that is a 14 bit colors. So I don't know how many billions or trillions of colors that is, but it's quite a lot, put it that way with 14 bit. There is eye care technology, including anti-flickering, and also there is a button on the side to turn on the blue light filter if you really, really need to use that. As I mentioned already, there are two times speakers already built into it, and the quality is really quite cool on that. Probably not as good as, like I said, as a MacBook Pro, for example, but it's very, very close to that kind of standard. Also, as you saw that there's a USB-C cable, what I'm using to connect up to my Macs right now. There's also two times HDMI um, ports underneath. There's also that display adapter port as well. And then at the same time, there is USB 3.1 ports. So there's a total of three of them underneath where you can connect up things like your keyboards and mice at the same time. And then of course, there's also the audio in and also an audio out port. As already shown you, it's really, really adjustable in its height and the swivel on the stand. And that stand is really, really sturdy as well. It's one thing I've learned with using on this monitor for such an ultra widescreen monitor that it really just stands really well. It doesn't kind of rock or, you know, it doesn't feel like it's unsafe on its actual stand. It's quite firm. Also at the same time as well, one thing I really wanted, at this, what I said at the beginning of this video, is I want it to be really easy to set up. And it is. It's just plug in and play, including just clicking on that stand into the monitor, no screws needed. It is so simple to set up and you've got everything included, like all those cables that I showed earlier. So overall guys, when I am home now and I'm not on the go, this is my go-to kind of dock monitor. All I have to do is plug in a USB-C cable into my MacBook Pro, or I can just plug it back into my Mac Mini, for example, just one cable, and then basically everything comes alive. I get my giant monitor, what is fantastic in that color ratios and the contrast, and it's been calibrated out of the box. Also at the same time as well, I don't have to plug in anything else because everything is just connected in. And also I get that great experience of looking at a larger timeline, for example, in the likes of Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or Resolver, for example. And basically it's just gonna make my life a lot easier. So this monitor is basically a godsend and it's really gonna help people like me out. So definitely I can confirm that this monitor is definitely a creator's paradise. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video as well. So if you have liked it, please do press like. And at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, see you soon.